What's up, people? Today I'm here with a VR tip. Something that gave me a little trouble, tripped me up a little bit, and it tripped up a couple other people that reached out to me. So I figured I'd do another video, tell you what I figured out that may help you. It's not revolutionary news, but it may be something that you're overlooking that may help you connect your MetaQuest 3 to your computer, your PC, or your Mac. I just wanna reframe it, give you another option to see it, and maybe find this video, and maybe help yourself if you're having this problem. Let's go. So this is quite easy, it's in three simple steps. Number one, you're gonna need the right cable. You have to have a good link cable that's capable of making that connection. There are some that are lower quality USB-C cables that may not be able to make let, to allow this transfer to happen. So make sure you have a good cable that's gonna be high quality enough to make this link happen. Number two, you're gonna have to make an adjustment inside the options or settings rather in your MetaQuest 3 in order to allow this to happen. And number three, you're gonna have to jump in the headset as soon as you connect it to allow the transfer of the connection to happen. That's all there really is to it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The cable is the easy one. Jump on Amazon and grab the right cable that you need. Number two, the settings. If you go here to the camera inside the MetaQuest 3, you look around in the top right corner and you'll see settings. When you go to settings, you go down to where it has the link, the Quest link. When you click that, you'll see that there's an option that will allow you to use AirLink. If you turn this on, it allows you to connect wirelessly over the air to your headset. However, if this connection is on, you will not be able to make the connection through the link cable to connect your MetaQuest 3 to your PC or your Mac. So you have to make sure this setting is off. Then number three, you have to jump in your headset really quick. As soon as you make the connection, you'll see this pop up and you have to click this pop up in order for it to allow it. Now, sometimes you may have connected it early or you didn't jump in right away and you may have missed, you may have missed it. So all you gotta do is unplug it and plug it back up and you'll be able to see this pop up and then you can make that connection. I did have someone come over to my house with their MetaQuest 3 because they couldn't get this to work. So I do tell you, it may take a couple times to do it, but once you get it right, you'll be good to go. So then you're gonna jump in to SideQuest. Now mind you, for that pop-up to, to occur, you really wanna open up SideQuest first. You wanna make the connection to your, your computer or your PC, and then you wanna connect it to your headset right when you're ready to put it on. That pop-up will, will pop up, and then you'll be able to click allow and then you'll see right up here you'll see that it's connected in the top left corner once you see that it's connected then you can go down to the oculus folder open that folder up then open up the video files and you'll see all the videos that you've recorded on your MetaQuest 3. you can simply click to the right and tell it where you want to save it and save all those files anywhere you want on your PC or your Mac or your hard drive, wherever you wanna save it. Maybe you have an external connected and you wanna put it on there. Then you can delete the files from your MetaQuest 3 if you wanna save space, because that's what I do all the time. And that's all, you, that's all you need to do, that's it. It's a simple process, one, two, three. I hope I was able to help. If I did, go ahead and hit that like button. Come back, check out more. Anytime I figure something else out, I'll bring it to you. Till next time, it's your man, Black Cobra. Doses, and I'm out.